Hi everyone, Mark here at 911 Rapid Response. I got a cool vehicle showcase for you today. I got a brand new 2022 Bronco, and this one's a little special because it's my wife's and it's a Bronco, so it's pretty cool, right? So uh, this is the um, Sasquatch package. So this has the aftermarket, or I shouldn't say aftermarket, factory wheels, tires, and the lift kit. Um, and it is also the um, uh, black diamond package, which has the marine grade vinyl seats. It has the vinyl floor in it. So she is a canine handler. So cleaning out the dog hair is a breeze on this. We're gonna start over going over some lighting on it that we put on. First thing that we're gonna go over is the Bronco letters in the front. Uh, we removed the factory letters and we put on these uh, backlit letters. They're available online, you can find them. I would say out of a difficulty from one to 10, you're probably like a five or a six for difficulty, just because you do have to take off this grill. It can be a little nerve wracking to some people, not, not doing that very often. Um, and the wiring, we have it tied into outfitter switch number six. Now we are very picky and anal on how we do our wiring here at Rapid Response. Uh, so it takes a little, a little while to do that. You just don't wanna decide to try to do something like this in an hour or two. It's gonna take a little longer than that. And the letters from factory, you do have to break the tabs and stuff to get the letters off. So, um, you know, if you're not real good with hand tools and, and electrical, I would maybe let it for a professional to do that. The uh, warning lights that you see in the front here are wheel and ions. Um, these are trio lights, so they're three color. They're red, white, amber the whole way around. So you can do some red, white lights. She is a chief, so she's allowed to run um, red warning lights with a siren. And uh, it has amber lights, so in the event, let's say maybe a uh, Jeep is broke down along the road, right? And she has to pull up behind it. Um, she could turn the amber lights on, you know, to, uh, to help them out. So, but uh, right now we have it flashing red, white. We have a single, um, Avenger light up there in the dash just to get something higher off to the side. That's a wheel and Avenger light. Another cool product that we put on this is the wheel and Argus. Now for you off-road folks, the wheel and Argus is replacing this, the uh, pillar mounted spotlight that you see on your police cars. Wheelin makes this product that's remote controlled. It can also go on the fender on police vehicles. So your Chevy Tahoe's, your Interceptor's, your F-150's, they make a fender mount bracket for this light to go on here. Obviously, Wheelin doesn't make it for the Bronco, so we made a flat base mount here, powder coated it, attached it to the factory accessory hole, so we don't have any extra holes in this, and then ran the wires down through that. Right now, I have this light in manual mode. There's a button on the controller to put it in manual mode. Manual mode, and I can physically turn this by hand, which is really nice um, if you're outside the vehicle. Now, I'm gonna take it out of manual mode just to show you something here. So I can turn this with the controller up and down every which way, okay? While it's not in manual mode now because I didn't push the button, but if something were to hit this light, it will go back to the state that it was before. So it's gonna go back to that. Then there's a home button. If I push the home button, it'll go and it'll rest right where you see it. We have it made and we have it set that no matter where this turns, it won't hit anything on the vehicle. As we come around to the side of the vehicle, we have ions down here in the side, which are two uh, wheel and ions. And I'm just gonna flip a switch here because these ions also do white lights on the side. So it does give us our white area lights, which is nice. You got a nice uh, nice distance um, view there out the side with the white lights. We also have white lights in the back as well. I'm gonna go back to the flashing. Another thing I'm gonna point out here is on the wheels. So these are dirty because we were just driving this thing around in the snow, but uh, the Ford factory wheels come with gloss black. And I tell you what, they do a great job. Whoever makes their wheels for them, they're super thick gloss material. Uh, acid dip them things four times to get them off. And then we powder coated these in-house here. We powder coated these the matte black with the, and then we powder coated the uh, ring here, white, obviously, like you can see it. So this matte black matches the Bronco script logo that we put on, and it also matches all the other colors on here as well. Coming around to the back of the vehicle, really simple. Um, we have two red, uh, two red ions here in the back, so pretty simple. Come around here to the side. I'm going to just show you the inside here real quick. I want to show you the controller. So if you sneak in here, you'll be able to see the controller we mounted right up top here. You can turn it, operate. That's how the Argus controller works. And then we have all our other lighting on these switches. Uh, we'll flip the amber lights on. We'll show you those here in a second. And then we also do have a siren, a siren switch down here in the bottom too. So let's show you the amber lights. 
So right now we have all the ember lights flashing. We have one switch for the amber lights, we have one switch which does the rear reds, and then we have another switch which does the front reds. So, But yeah, cool little project, something to show you something different other than a standard police car or a chase vehicle, you know, a fire chase vehicle. So um, like what you see, make sure you subscribe on YouTube, like us on TikTok, our Facebook pages, watch us on social media, and if you were never here, make sure you stop in for a tour. Have a great day, everyone.